Despite the cold front, some people braved the elements and went ice skating in Providence tonight. Doctors say you shouldn't be outside for a long period of time in cold temperatures like this, but if you choose to, make sure you cover as much skin as possible and go inside when you can. Cold temperatures are especially concerning for homeless advocates who say no one should be on the streets this week. And that's why shelters are preparing for more people than usual. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshudo has more new tonight. Sheena? Even if you're just going to and from your car, you'll probably want to bundle up this week. It's really cold, but as we know, not everyone has a car or a home to warm up in, and that's why the state is offering some more options. Well, you better stay moving. You can tell by my <laughs> breath. It is extremely cold. Because when you stop, that's when you really start to feel it. It's a bitter cold night in Rhode Island, and some are spending it at the ice rink in downtown Providence. Very, very cold, and we planned this a while ago, so we were just like, we have to come and do it tonight, but we're paying for it right now. <laughs> but doctors say you have to be careful in the elements. It doesn't take long to be at risk for frostbite. Make sure you just have a good jacket, an inside shirt pretty thick, uh, extra socks. <laughs> Those come in handy a lot, actually. Because of the freezing temperatures, the Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency is opening up warming centers across the state for anyone that might need shelter during the day. Plus, the president and CEO of Crossroads Rhode Island says they too are ready to take in more people than usual. Definitely seeing more people coming in, which is great, but we know it's not enough. We know that there are so many people that are outdoors and in unsafe places right now, and that's that's the real concern. Karen Santilli says the shelter's community room saw double the amount of people Monday night than it did this time last week. And while they do expect to exceed capacity, there's still room. We have some space in the building. If people need to get off the street, we'll just open up another room within our building and let them stay overnight. We're not going to turn anybody away. And in December, the governor's office announced the state is adding more than 100 new emergency shelter beds to help keep people off the streets. And the governor's office says they hope to announce even more very soon. I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News.